Ooh, Ryder! Ryder! I forgot how rough this one was. Let's go retro. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Bike Radar Diaries. In fact, welcome to a brand new series full stop. This is Bike Radar Retro Diaries, a brand new series where we take you through our rickety rigs and go for some fun rides. This first episode in particular is going to be an absolute banger. We are taking these two retro bikes racing in Pippingford Park on a modern enduro circuit. It's a mashup, so it's a bit of a fun series. There's no real strict rules or anything like that. We're just there to have fun and uh, get some times. I don't know whether they're going to be fast or not, but there'll be times. <laughs> we can only hope. It was a long day. Um, it was technical descents, really rough trails, and we were absolutely exhausted after riding these fully rigid bikes down them. Before we get onto that race, however, we have to take you through our tasty treats in front of us here. So Josh, what have you chosen as your weapon of choice? So here I've got an orange P7 from 1995. It's rigged up with mostly Shimano XT components from the same era, so it's N737 parts, and then a few LX components chucked in there for good measure. I've also got some brand spanking new tires. These are the Panaracer Smoke and Dart, a classic from the era. I've also noticed you've got some mag pedals there. Yeah, maybe not quite in keeping with the retro theme, <laughs> but there are occasional times when you need something modern just to take that advantage down exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. <sighs> the front wheel of mine is a bit odd. Um, it came off another retro bike. Um, it's got a sawtooth, in fact. However, the rear wheel is quite a special one. That's a full XTR rear wheel with a Mavic rim from 1995. Pretty much the best wheels you could get back in the day. While Josh is stuck with fully original components on his lush, lush orange P7, I've gone for a very colourful Peugeot Hurricane from 1989. Mine is fully modded, as you can probably tell already. It's sporting a seat actuated dropper post. Uh, not that it needs it, but I found it was helpful here and there. Uh, I've gone for a quill stem adapter, which has allowed me to put on much, much wider, more modern handlebars. Tires are slightly more modern too. I've got a Schwalbe uh, Rocket Ron out the back and a Nobby Nick up the front. So like Josh's bike, I have got some original parts on here still. I've still got the LX component tree down here. In fact, that looks about it, to be honest. I've pretty much <laughs> modded every single thing, other thing. Max is using original wheels, which is quite surprising. Yeah, you got to keep some parts original, Josh. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, otherwise, at what point does it stop becoming a retro bike? Some people might even say right now it's not retro enough. I also upgraded the brakes on this, which originally had cantilevers. Uh, I've now got side pull brakes, and it's nice to say they are a lot sharper and a lot more reactive. Oh, and I'm also sporting a mudguard, because at the end of the day, we are racing and riding in England. And while it's nice and sunny now, it definitely wasn't in the last race. No. Original versus modded. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Right, enough of the tech talk. Shall we go racing? Let's check it out. Oh man. <laughs> do you want to go in front? Not particularly. <laughs> I think you should lead the way, buddy. Oh God. <laughs> Right, I'm not going to be catching anyone up, so may as well go. Enjoy. Cheers. See you at the bottom. Ah. This is going to be one of the noisiest rides I've ever had. Yeah, okay. Whoa! <laughs> Ah. Oh my god! Oh. This would be a hundred times easier if it was dry. Oh my god, this is steep. This is steep. Oh Jesus, Jesus, can't stop, can't stop. Drop my chain! Oh god! Ah. My chain keeps coming off. Ryder! Ryder! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Go, go, go! Oh. 
That's all right, mate. And he's finished. I bet that was pretty well. Oh, there he was, mate. That was your run. My chain kept coming off. Did I, you do the drop? I know. Oh, I did the drop. Oh, I like got to it. It was like, bunny hop. <laughs> right, let's carry on. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the future. Back to 26. We've literally just finished stage two. It was a very stark awakening to what to expect from the rest of the day on bikes like these. Stage three now, feeling even more scared than when we first arrived. <laughs> Go on, Max. Go oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be catching him up today. <laughs> Flat, loamy corners. Take it nice and easy. Oh, that's the wrong line. Not that it really matters. Yeah, boy. Oh, nice short one, fantastic. Go on, lad. It's <laughs> oh, a horrible that was much compression, nicer. isn't it? That was much nicer, yeah. nice and short as well. Yeah. Loamy flat corners yeah. are where these bikes excel and you can just go flat out. Yeah, there's a few bits I could let go of the brakes completely yeah. and just have a go. Right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Retro train. Choo choo. Oh, oh, I took that quite well actually. I can't see nothing. Uh, oh, not this section. Oh my god. Oh no, I missed the climb. Here we go. Oh, sh it's so rough. Come oh, no, on, keep it up. Go on, go on, go on. Ah, I forgot how rough this one was. What's going on there? Oh, God. Oh. Ah. Are you in the bushes? He's in the bushes. Oh, no. I'm taking the tape. This is easily the roughest stage, actually. I'll take it all back. Oh, oh. oh man. Oh, it's hot there. Oh. Yeah, I fully went into the tape. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're getting a lot of love today, aren't we? We are. We're getting called all sorts of things. Brave, stupid, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> nice people cheering you down the crowd. You don't know that. It is, yeah. It's almost like people want you to do well. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are hurting so much. Yeah. Check that out. Oh yeah. <laughs> no suspension has taken its toll. It Definitely. really has. All right, final race stage. I'm not gonna lie, I right. thought I'd be slightly more enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you give us loads of space, because we ain't gonna be quick. <laughs> Go on then, let's go. Let's have it. <laughs> oh my God, yes! This is the stage. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Lush. Oh. 
this. This is what these bikes were made for. Fast, smooth trails and really built up berms. 26 ain't dead, yo. Ooh. Oh man, I'm barely pedaling and I'm still out of breath just because there's no suspension, so it's just, it just takes it all out of here. Jeez, this. And across the line. Come on, buddy, let's see it, let's see it, go on. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was the best stage ever. Oh, man. <laughs> My arms were just going halfway down. Yeah. It's barely hold on anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're just going to hand back our timing chips and uh, see how the retro bikes did. See how we did. Oh, yeah. oh some of yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know he beat me already. 16 minutes 20, and one's done 17 minutes 18. Oh, I'll be 17, I think. And I'll be 16. <laughs> Brilliant. There you go. Good job. Six. Nice one. <laughs> Six and seventh. Nicely well, done. That's actually pretty good, isn't one it? 30 year old bikes, yeah. it's all right. I think we did okay. We did okay. There you have it. We finished, we survived, we're alive. The bikes are in one piece, amazingly. And we didn't come last. And we didn't come last, mid-pack. Yeah, Go not us. bad. <laughs> Don't know about you, but I feel like we got a lot of support from that race. We had people screaming and shouting at us, cheering us on, <laughs> asking us how we did it. <laughs> yeah, lots of support. I feel like we inspired many a rider out there. Yeah, how did you feel like you got on? I'm pretty happy with the bike, to be fair. I was really impressed with how it survived. I was gonna say handled, but <laughs> yeah, honest. no, it didn't. You may notice that the bar ends have disappeared from my bike. My arms were getting so tired from holding onto such narrow bars. So I scrapped those just to get an extra inch on either side of my handlebars, a little bit more, more width and a bit more control. I was having a lovely time with my uh, 760 mil wide bars. So, you know, it was still very, very rough. However, I noticed that your tires were running slightly higher than mine. I did let out quite a bit of pressure from my tires because of running fully ridges. I wanted to make sure that I had as much squish as possible over the rough stuff and just have my fingers crossed, hoping that I wouldn't get a pinch puncture. And we have one more surprise. The lovely event organizers at the Southern Enduro Series felt sorry for us that we were entering on retro bikes in a hardtail category. So for the next race, they've actually opened a retro bike category. Yeah, the news has spread, the retro bike category exists, and there's more people entering, so we're not going to be alone. Fantastic. Next one's QECP, uh, which is Queen Elizabeth Country Park, which is based a little bit down the road from here, and it's very steep and quite techers. Luckily it's our local, so we do know the trails reasonably well, but it doesn't stop them from being steep and rough. We might even have a few crashes this time. That's it. Thank you for joining us, and thanks for watching us get absolutely terrified and having lots and lots of fun on these rickety rigs. If you want to see more race videos like this, let us know in the comments. And if you don't, tough, because we're going to do it again because it was so much fun. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon so every time we upload a video like this, you'll get a notification. Bye. <laughs> that was the best stage ever. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs>